So don't park on the street and it's okay to have two cars parked on the street. So pretty much this is another installment of like father like son, except there's no direct correlation here. Uh, it so seems that Mrs. fucking Chatalian has a son not related to Mr. Chatalian and she got a divorce. Surprising. I guess she was beaten too much or something. Actually, I think she's beaten too much now, but uh, I'm not sure. Anyways, the son became of age and his dick grew faster than his brain. And like many others that I know, at that time he said, Mom, I'm moving out. I'm getting an apartment. And he got an apartment, fucked anything with two legs, and did all that for a number of years. He had a job, was going to work, doing his thing. Maybe had a move-in girlfriend, I don't know. But there came the time where he ran out of money and said, Mommy, I need to move back home. Oh, my nice little Chitalian boy, you want to come back home? I left your room just as you had it. <laughs> then Mr. Chitalian gets wind of this. He says, your son has come back to live here. What the fuck, Joanne? What, are you out of your fucking mind? Oh, wait a minute. Where's he going to stay? He's got a girlfriend now. Oh, I know. I'll redo the whole upstairs of the house. So there was a project going on upstairs for fucking ages. Ages. There were dumpsters and all kinds of crazy shit. He, like, totally tore down the entire top of the house to rebuild it. Even though that was an apartment and they had tenants living up there. Actually, two or three of them over the years that I remember... So, I guess because uh, Sonny Boy is moving back home, who's not even related to him, that was that. Well, anyway, you may have noticed in previous videos that there has been a Jeep, a gray Jeep, that's been parked there. But now there's this blue car. Now, she used to park the blue car in the driveway where the Italian mobile is, and he would park in his Italian rock garden driveway. She got herself a white Chevy SUV something or other. It's big, it's white, and it's ugly. And this car stayed here for about a month or two under wraps behind the fence over there. And now Sonny Boy is driving this car. <laughs> Went out, fucked anything that moved, ran out of money and came crawling back and now all the stops have pulled out and she probably gave him this car he had to get himself a big dick car I don't know what he drove beforehand it's inconsequential really but probably just gave him that and actually a funny story is a few things first of all the other day he was uh, coming back home and he was backing up and actually bumped the white rav that's there. The white Rav is his girlfriend and from what I understand she is her job has her travel a lot and as such she is not home for weeks at a time and I often see cars come by pick her up and leave. <laughs> I wonder if they're all actually uh, <clears throat> business trips or what but anyways uh, that's the deal with that so he has uh, a live-in girlfriend and I guess they have a kitchenette or something up there and whatever else there's two air conditioners and if you listen carefully as soon as this car goes the compressor on one of those ACs makes such a damn racket of course you can hear it from like every angle because it's up high it just angers me and I don't know, but it looks like they're almost two of the same. They look very similar. So that may have been another gift. I know we got a big screen TV for Christmas because uh, 
Italian uh, Claus came by and uh, he got a big screen TV for up there for his big dick that's gotten smaller because he's only with one girl now. Uh, the other funny thing is about this whole I'm of age, I'm moving out, I'm getting an apartment, I'm fucking everything. I know um, a couple of other people, a number of other people who happen to be of the red, white, and green who did exactly the same thing. So, like I said, just another installment of Like Father, Like Son. I don't know. Another thing I've seen, and I don't wish bad on anybody who isn't deserving, and the kid is nice, you know. He, he doesn't play games. He doesn't say, you can't have to be over here. Your grass is too tall. You don't blah, 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 blah. He waves hello. I say hello. That's it. She doesn't say hello to anybody. That's fine. I don't care. So he doesn't cause any trouble, and I don't wish bad on anybody who's not causing me any trouble. And I've also found another interesting parallel where the Italian husband, and this doesn't happen to all of them, it's one of two things that happens. By the time they hit about 50, 55, 60, somewhere in there, they completely shut down. They're either so incapacitated and have heart failure or diabetes or uh, uh, kidney trouble or, you know, some sort of disease. And like I said, if they're not causing me any trouble, then I, I don't want to cause any trouble for them. And I, I do feel sorry for that. And as many of you may know, um, XJO81X lost his father and he was about that age. But before that, he was perfectly healthy, doing everything and everything was good. And he just got sick and unfortunately that uh, ended up taking him. And it was extraordinarily unfortunate, but I've seen a lot of others by the time they hit that age where they just completely shut the fuck down. I've seen yet others, however, the flip side of the coin, where they're active well into their 80s. They still plant a garden in the backyard and get their vegetables and do all the whatever they do and stuff like that. You know, the old world guys, stuff like that. And that's wonderful. I, you know, I love seeing people get to a ripe old age like that and still are active and their, their brain is with it and stuff. But, you, you know, it's, it's, I'm hoping the former happens to Mr. Fucking Chitalian. Because with all these projects and sawing, yesterday he was outside sawing and he had a screw gun going and God knows what the fuck else. As you see, there's washing machines in the back of his truck. You know, all this shit going on, making all this fucking noise and racket and bullshit and stuff like that. He's getting to be around that age where there might be something happening. And wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if we were older? Wouldn't that be nice? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, dissertation. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.